Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the infamous Royal Rumble campaign where there is nothing but total war and pain. Legendary Iron Man, double enemy, squad size, uh, all of the hardcore dark events, yellow alert and every more difficult enemy that you can imagine under the sun. Whatever had been created is thrown into this meat grinder of a campaign. It's going comparably good i must say but i can notice that a subtle uptick in in difficulty and although we almost snowballed the game at the beginning with really a lot of scientists we're finding ourselves kind of mid uh, of month number three in operation little thorn trying to really fight for an engineer to get that fourth engineer going and continuing to to use the momentum we're Still at five, not at six soldiers, and we're missing that squad side upgrade, uh, which is so, so important. Uh, and today we're fighting against the Hive and the Dark Elder Raiders, and uh, we need to, on top of that, uh, sabotage the transmitter. So potentially three factions, the Hive has a separate faction on top of Advent, so it's not going to be fun at all. It's a mission uh, where a lot of quickness and wit uh, width is needed and I'm wondering if a sniper is the right choice there to be honest I think we're actually going to go for Inquisitor uh, Zale instead and giving him that sweet sweet flashbang and we upgraded the weapon so that should be fine no other weapon upgrades well you gotta do with that one outloader buddy that's it uh so implacable uh inquisitor wrath uh, inappropriate murphy and euler aka the cannon we are going to go into this mission took some mad kids took some uh grenades and i hope that we will actually be able to shut down the transmitter the movement of the skirmisher might be quite helpful for us but i'm equally unsure just how strong the enemies are becoming the last time we fought against the dark elders we had like these melee monsters that were just not stopping so if we're running into them again it's potentially lights out let's see hey yet another sewers mission not my favorite terrain but unfortunately one that we need to deal with transmitter in this area tied directly into their primary network our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely might want to take that high ground here and then sort of fight our way in this is definitely going to be one of the more tricky missions tight timing and a lot of quick movements are needed and there we go it's already starting to suck got a couple of chrysalid hive drones there cannibal and a prime collector drone the cannibals regenerate i don't know what the hive drones are doing but knowing the hive as a mod it can't be good it's just varying shades of gray and with gray i actually mean like really dark black that's the way the mod is designed Not pulling any punches and the fact that it is a nice little extra mod uh, just on top of uh, the other enemies just increasing the size of enemies here by adding their own faction certainly not making it e any easier no need to ask twice. Good. we're in with five of our guys again we we could use a lot of uh, the promotions because this year is with five it's starting to be uh, difficult might need that sixth slot grell our highest xp character unfortunately took a while Time off. And 
look we know they are standing here right so they are right here and if I'm exploding that I'll at least get two that's good enough for me it was one but it is still good enough for me Moving up, inappropriate Murphy and Inquisitor. I like the idea of just having a couple of guys on high ground, beauty. So he just straight up ran into there. Okay. Well, talking about uh, the AI and just how well they seem to know everything. And the Dark Elders have some sort of flappy flappy beings. And we are needing to fight with chrysalids. Hmm. Whenever I think the Dark Elders have like brought the absolute worst, they come up with some new unit, mind you, criminally great uh, animated, and then bring even more stats. Those guys are dealing 5 to 8 points of damage. I can see they have 15 defense, 80 to hit which is more than any of our soldiers currently has. And the chrysalids are beginning to show their ugly, ugly face. Now, apparently that reflex action is a bonus action. Fantastic. Love it when you have literally zero counterplay. Oh, oh, and they can teleport. Well, well done. As we had hoped, the net okay, they were starting to hit the network disconnector. Great. Um, what is actually happening? What kind of magic are they using? So the one hits for eight. We're seeing a lot of... And, and teleports, by the way. Like I said, there is this distinct uh, idea of we hate you built into these mods. All right, Bullpup uh, did what it was supposed to do. I guess we're topping off uh, Inappropriate Murphy because five hit points is one shot, seven. There is a chance, a remote chance to actually survive that. Still no? Nope. Yes. 50% chance to actually hit him. Critically. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, that makes it a 
tiny bit more difficult, I suppose. That's 100% kill. Okay. Well, and implacable. Could move to here, which I guess wouldn't be a bad idea, but not sure if we can kill that chrysalid drone there. Still, we can't stand in half cover. That is asking to be killed. <laughs> All right, ninety-five percent reloading, and let's kill that chrysalid. Oh, I forgot I had death from above. That changes things as now we're all of a sudden in a really, really solid sp uh, spot here. Euler with death from above. I should have had that on the radar. That's a fantastic ability. Oh, return fire. Yeah, sure. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. But the high throne is not taking no for an answer. Two imbalanced uh, factions are fighting against one another. I must find firmer ground. Okay. I think the Dark Elders are still more successful. What is happening? Eight points of damage. I still can't believe that that is, that that is real. Luckily, they are just helping us with a network separation. I must find firmer ground. Yeah, there's a good old poisoning. Everything has like three times as many hit points as we do have. And seems three times as dangerous. These are reinforcements. And... For what it's worth, the reinforcements might actually be a quite problematic... Uh, they might be uh, posing a problem for us. I would love to go here and just shotgun to the face, but that unfortunately would be likely the last thing that I'm going to do. Could move to here, then move up and start laying down the hate on these guys. Let's start taking the enemies out. With death from above, Euler begins to be a, a force to be reckoned with. We position ourselves here. We're asking that chrysalid to hit us. This guy can teleport, so he might go anywhere he he sees fit chrysalid wouldn't kill us though this here is full cover and this here is hopefully softening him up okay well so much for a softening up
a protocol to make him a less attractive target, which means the Chrysalid will go for other targets first. Overwatch uh, for the guys that are coming in. And Overwatch with, the in with Inquisitor. Perfect opportunity for a reload. There is a chance to crit him. Might as well soften him up a bit. Nah. Didn't work out. So we got three overwatches. This, this is as good as it gets. You will regret your resistance. This changes nothing. What? Oh no, oh no. Melee units drop right onto us. They look like Harlequins. I'm not by any stretch of the imagination a Warhammer expert, but they kind of look like Harlequins. Which aren't necessarily Dark Elders, but we anyways lore converted these guys into psionic mad, mad men and women. There is a big fat chrysalid up there. We are not immune to overwatch. That's a problem. Might as well reload. And try to get that chrysalid. Good. Solved a huge problem for us right there. Alright, time to get that guy down. Moving up, and I think we can kill her. Fantastic. Almost out of ammunition though, which isn't that great. We got one more Scorch. Nah, I can't, can't really stand up here. That uh, would not be feasible. This here should not trigger. There's Alright, so much for for that idea. Problem that I'm now seeing is we got missed, but unfortunately the cover was duly removed. All 
Alright, moving up. And moving up. Maybe we're losing our skirmisher. Not sure. The rest is in full cover. Correction, the rest was in full cover before that guy turned up. Wow, okay. That's a nasty ability. Positioning ourselves nicely here, that could be a kill. Unless, of course, they are dodging it. In which case... As I said, best one, hit, uh, one point of damage. Alright, getting rid of this guy, fantastic, inappropriate Murphy, that just reduces uh, disorientation and poison reduces movement rate to zero. Eighteen percent is really not really not going to cut it. Rev moves over, and I would say we're reloading. Full cover. Not a perfect setup. Inappropriate Murphy might die. Yeah. Well, we should. Didn't I put another? Yeah, we had another med kit here with implac uh, implacable. Alright, not sure where that other guy finally went. But what we could do is we could move to here and take a nice little shot. Should be still far enough from the chrysalid. Problem is we he could always come back. He's potentially just sitting there to be entirely honest. Is it clear? Yeah, I figured as much. 
All right, time to die. All the way up to here, I guess. Or to here. If we get upstairs, we can flank and death from above. Can't really get down there. That would be too dangerous i need to flank him though somehow like that would be good but we would expose ourselves a massive amount to the chrysalids All right, let's let's hit him exactly. I forgot that we do have uh, that wonderful teleporting away feature, but not for long. You are going to die. It's a little chrysalid ripper. Blocking the entrance there. And let's just overwatch. Fantastic. That's the saving grace I was hoping for. Oh boy. Okay, we have to deal with this guy. Okay, we can flank him over there, and I would want to try that. down to two turns that's so not good but this here might be a crit nice i like it the one reload is gone right hmm figured no sidearm yep we're reloading all right so you guys are the worst. And I have an idea of how we're dealing with all of the chrysalids at once. It's called just burn everything to the ground.com. Reloading. Explosion, explosion, fall damage, done. Hmm. 
Meanwhile, implacable. He just this guy who's boss. Happy now. On the grind. <laughs> oh, it's becoming worse and worse. Can't reach an appropriate Murphy. I go where you tell me. All right, pick up the unit. to do it uh, but that was the lowest dps it's the one that we can afford to just let go I'm going. implacable moves up he's trying to carry this so hard there you go. Weapon yeah trigger what is great i think we might just want to get to the other side. Need that extra turn. And starting to move in the direction of uh, the target. Not a good enough chance, but I know what we can do. Nice little frag grenade here. That's five points of damage. Wasn't close enough to attack him with a sword, which I would have done. Actually, not going to hit. This is coming down to the wire. Big deal. Moving on. It is clear. Wow. up any other contacts get those charges deployed i'm trying bradford i'm trying literally the last turn one hit point barely made it out of here signal confirmed export charges are active hmm. that's a nail biter of a mission guys wow and these scorchers are nasty teleportation 
course teleportation after getting hit. Nine hit points, five points of damage. Plus the disorientation, which they can do. AoE disorientation, mind you. You either got to deal with them or they will just mess you up big time. It's one of those where you just can't cluster up. And if we get a promotion. As long as there is even one Reaper left standing, you can bet still in the fight. <laughs> gravely wounded, gravely wounded, wounded. Okay, well. So Shadow Step would have helped us a lot in this mission. And lightning reflexes certainly would have helped us as well. Zero in isn't bad either. All decent abilities. I am considering to go for lightning reflexes because overwatches will become an issue. Got ourselves 20 intel, that isn't bad at all. And a few alien alloys. Commander. Dark cloak. Uh, not sure what that is. Not sure what that is. Hmm. But I'll look it up in between the sessions. It sounds unpleasant. So my hunch was correct to actually go for that extra mission and that additional engineer now we're at five five in month three that is really strong uh, so our economy is good we build highly efficiently build order okay the only thing that really sucks because we're taking so much damage i am wiggling my way up the ranks but not nearly as fast as it could be and Frankly, that is a bit of a problem. Maybe an infirmary is, is the right play here. We cannot keep up with... Uh, we're just taking too, much, uh, too many hits. Let's hope plated armor will change that a bit. And a facility lead. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going for that. It will be a fallback position in case we cannot um, in case we cannot expand. But I would love to make contact first and then we're going for that facility lead. Setting course for the Mexican regional track. The hope is our next supply drop should be a little bit more than 150. Yeah, we're even losing 30. So we're down to 100. We definitely need more. This here would give us a bit more. Plated armor, finally. So that's a huge step forward. And as if the game would have known that we wanted to go for it, we're going to go with uh, experimental weapons next. Then I think we need resistance radio to uh, expand even further we don't have the alarium yet um, well we do have enough alarium to start it hmm, might not be the worst idea so advent mech we don't even have a mech okay by the way I uh, saw everybody's votes in we're going to use the, the the special items. I will say that at the beginning of next episode, I suppose, once again. But, um, yeah. Realistically, experimental weapons now. Into resistance radio. Thonics, I don't want to jinx it. That'll be a great addition later in the campaign. 
but we don't have the manpower uh, yet. I'm hoping I'll get a mech, and with that, hopefully we can start researching this. But the amount of enemies, new enemies, are kind of also blocking our normal research, which is a very strange situation to find yourself in. So with the soldier upgrades, we still have not... Oh wait, we got one here. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for blast padding. Like that extra one hit point can be the difference between life and death. All right, good enough. Out of curiosity, how much would it cost us to upgrade the armor? 12 trooper corpses? <laughs> I can see a problem. Um, I can see a problem. I have not sold any trooper uh, corpses for a good reason. What's our inventory looking like? Eight. Well, hold on to them, Saiken. You need four more trooper corpses. Uh, we could get them at the black side, I guess. There are quite a few troopers around. That's really unfortunate. We have research plated armor, but we can't build it. Rescue Zor. Hmm. Recursor, not Rescue Zor. Recursor. Let me look it up what that exactly means. Okay, so bad news, which you would have expected. Project Recursor. The aliens deploy an algorith, a fusion of Mac and Spectre, that is capable of deep cloning an entire squad. That sounds like the guy is coming in and is just copying our soldiers, like all of them at the same time. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Then Project Dark Cloak which we countered, the psionic network has been strengthened to the point of granting physical protection to Advent. Uh, does that mean they are not taking any damage at all anymore? Which would be curious because that means I would need psionics. I mean, I'm not sure if melee weapons would still work, but if every advent is just immune to physical damage, that would suck a lot. Uh, those side uh, projects are no joke, and we will not be able to kill them all. Dodge plus seven on Hogbite, that's good. Experimental ammo projects are completed instantly. That's good because it will give us an option to do that immediately. We don't have a major, elsewise we could uh, hunt for her. We have dodge plus five is not bad. Mobility will aim. Aim plus four is good. I like it. Cost of uh, constructing um, resistance uh, comms will be reduced by 50%. That's actually also a really good uh, breakthrough. And it's eight days for aim plus four. I think we're going to do that. And I would love to give aim plus four to a grenadier. But unfortunately, all of them are wounded 
which means um, we're doing the next best, which is giving it to Dilly G here. Currently our prime sniper. And let's put another sharpshooter. Just double checking. Yeah, we got Ender still putting another sharpshooter there. Wilson the second helps us out. Also levels him. Yeah, aim plus four is good. It's a it's a really decent start, and this here will save us money for just going around and building towers because they become quite expensive as time goes on. And I can already foresee uh, that we are going to have an income problem. Good. So. Got frost bomb, shadow keeper, and uh, just a lot of great weapons which I would love to build. Um, next up, resistance radio. Like I mentioned beforehand, we need those continent bony. Proving ground still a few days off. That is fine. Which brings us to that facility leap, which we were talking about beforehand. And there is that extra armor for all of the advents, permanently sealed in. Great. Love it. And that is potentially going to force us. Yep. We are now forced to move on. Whom do we have available? Uh, Sharpshooter Ranger. Specialist. We got Hogbite. And a Grenadier. Oh, that's good enough, I guess. Grell could be with us, so after that Grell's potentially going to finally um, upgrade. So yeah, it's time for the Black Side mission. This is going to suck, specifically since we still don't have that uh, that uh, armor upgrade. But if we do it this month, it's not as bad as next month. I mean, you need to look at it from the bright side. The force level hasn't increased, so it's just going to suck. It's not going to like majorly suck, right? Could be uh, could be worse, is what I'm saying. Uh, aftershock. Uh, I think we have better abilities later. Grell is our main specialist. I'm still thinking about that polar targeting. Just to make matters easier for everybody when they are trying to hit difficult to hit targets. Polar targeting is really, really good, and for 10 points, it's almost a steal. And it seems as Grell is becoming one of our main contributors here. If we compare them equally, I don't just want to sink points into them because we need a lot of it. If I compare inappropriate Murphy with a Shredder, that's also pretty good. And Russ, Death from Above, that's fantastic. Uh, Russ is potentially even better with Death from Above because we need Action Economy badly, really, really badly. Uh, so I w value that even a bit higher than um, Grell's ability and Euler. Also has death from above. Dead eye isn't bad either. I like it. If he has another monster ability like rapid shot, for instance, mm, that would be great. Just great. I'll keep the AP. Might be a bit greedy, but I want to. I want to see who essentially makes it to kind of 
the colonel rank in when the missions are becoming more difficult i need to build up one super team to somewhat weather the storm and the others will be more and more expendable and there are really no no exceptions here like just because you ha uh, are called roby and are kind of a living legend that's not going to save you hogbite might be an exception but it's just because i have a sweet spot for that guy we could give him aftershock allowing for easier hits let's try that the reason why i'm doing it is i know that we're going to fight against one of the chosens and that 15 extra aim can really sway it in our favor and with hogbite i know that he's going to hit a hundred percent okay so that is good in terms of building sweet sweet predator it's not happening might as well upgrade templars uh, melee attacks and get one mine shield that will make hogbite a bit uh, stronger against whatever shenanigans are happening yellow alert will be interesting on that map because we, we i'm expecting we're going to see kind of a huge firefight we have plenty of med kits so that should be fine we noticed early on that the avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power and that's really uh, where we are guys if you are as excited about uh, the uh, mm, the next uh, mission think about purchasing that mind shield wrapping it around the like button and making it immune to not clicking it so it uh, will only be clickable by you i try uh, trust me if you just try it hard enough that will work and tell me if it worked in the comment section down below see you later guys and have a good one bye bye